If you're looking for usual suspects to validate your mass appeal, then look elsewhere. But if you're looking for some amazing smelling fragrances for under 40 bucks to smell incredible this summertime, then this video is for you. Stick around, it's coming up right now. Welcome back to another fragrance video. This is another top video for the summertime. This is the last iteration of my top summer videos. You had the designer, the niche, which I'll pop it up here if you haven't seen that yet. And this, of course, the most affordable under 40 bucks choices for the summer that I'm looking to wear and smell incredible this summertime. You're not gonna find your usual Nautic Voyage or you know the top fragrances that people talk about that are affordable and great for the summertime. Instead, you're gonna find some really unique fragrances. Some of these are gonna be more mass appealing, of course. Most of these are gonna be mass appealing because these are summertime fragrances. They're gonna be citrus, aromatic, easy to wear and easy to please. Most importantly, well-performing scents. There will always be right around 40 bucks or below, and some of these even below 30, and some of these even below 20. Let's kick things off with the 10th spot right here. It's from Dolce & Gabbana. No, it's not Dolce & Gabbana. Light blue O Intense. Instead, it's going to be Italian Zest. It's a very zesty, very citrusy fragrance. Sure, it doesn't have an extremely great performance, but you're gonna get five plus hours with this scent, which is actually a really nice performance for a very zesty and very citrusy fragrance. I love the mid here, which will give you like this peppery, spicy accord with juniper berries and white musk slash mossy dry down. But the initial blast here is just uncanny, guys. Very citrusy, very zesty from the Amalfi Coast, Italy which is exactly how this fragrance was inspired by. So Dolce Cabana Light Blue Italian Zest. It came out, I wanna say 2018 if I'm not mistaken, but a really nice flanker that will run you under 30 bucks for a 75 mil. At the ninth spot, we have a fragrance from John Varvedos, which by the way has filed for bankruptcy, chapter 11. So just look out for these fragrances as they become more scarce in the market, the prices will rise. In fact, Artisan Pure, which is another one that I truly love from this brand, from, from John Varvedos, is very hard to find at this time. But the one we're talking about today at the ninth spot is going to be John Vada's Artisan, the original. This is going to be a fragrance surrounded the note of clementines or tangerines, which is really citrus, really uplifting. There's some great fruit in here as well. But again, the star of the show will be the tangerine slash clementines with some neroli, very nice citrus components with a white musk again and some florals in the heart. I think there's jasmine in here as well, which is really stellar. A great scent, very refreshing. Refreshing is the key word here. A scent that, it's kind of like Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford, but it takes it to the next level because you have some thicker components here like the musk and, and the tangerines are really uplifting and bright and really up front and center. Love the stuff here in the really high heat, really you know hot days. You can always carry a decant and reapply. This stuff gives me about five to six hours on average, which is really not bad. I truly love this one for the really, really hot days and muggy summer days. 125 ml of this stuff, just like this bottle, will run you about $35 or less. If you enjoy citrus fragrances with mint in them in the summertime like myself, this one here is one you don't, you don't want to miss, guys. This one here from Isimiyaki. Don't hear much talks about this one. This is Blue Isimiyaki Blue Au Fresh. And this is going to be a very minty scent, especially in the introduction. You got some nice citruses here, but it also has some woods in the background, which makes it a little thicker for a summer flanker. Even though it's a blue, fresh fragrance, it starts off really fresh, really bright and ethereal, but it becomes a little bit spicy and woodsy in the dry down, which is actually pretty nice. I love to wear this in the nighttime, evening, summer evenings. It is refreshing, but it's also woodsy and a little bit spicy. Love this stuff, has a little bit of that blue um, you know, take that we like, but it's not very similar to Eau Sauvage or Blue de Chanel. It's a different take on the blue genre. Really great stuff, and get this, for a 75 mil bottle like this, you're looking at $25 or less. At the seven spot is a fragrance that, when it comes to summertime, I think two notes are very vibrant, very bright, and very energizing. That's bergamot and grapefruit. And this fragrance has both. We're talking about radiant bergamot from the house of Ferrari. This stuff here, for a bottle just like this, 100 ml tester that comes with a cap, you're looking at $18, $20 or less. And again, I'm gonna have links to all these fragrances in the description if you guys wanna check them out where I found mine, you guys can find yours. And Radium Bergamot is a great fragrance that is around the note of bergamot with citruses up top, neroli, a little bit of a floral mid, just lasts a long time on my skin. For a citrus fragrance, this stuff here really kicks ass and for under $20, you really can't go wrong. Check this out, Ferrari's really nice. You know how much I love bright Neroli. 
uh, and, and Radium Bergamot is right up there. Sometimes I even like to layer these two because you know they're costing me 20, 25 bucks shipped. So you can actually layer them and even get better performance and come up with like something really different like a Radium Bergamot slash Neroli with the Bright Neroli, which will smell fantastic. But this on its own is nothing to you know dismiss, guys. Check this out if you haven't at the uh, seven spot Radium Bergamot from Ferrari. At the sixth spot, this is a fragrance that don't get really much talks at all in the fragrance community. I actually review this for you guys, I believe last year or the year before. I'll pop it up here so you guys can check it out. This is Cool Water from Davidoff, but this is the Wave Edition. I know the toy lamp actually pushes quite nice. This is a spicy grapefruit up top. I mean, talking about bright, talking about vibrant. This fragrance is all of that. And it reminds me very much so uh, of Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua 2016 and performs actually really good, guys. So if you like Hawaz, if you like Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua, this is one you definitely want to consider uh, checking out. And get this, this is a small little 30 ml. No, it's a 40 ml actually. But you can get 125 ml of this stuff for under $25, guys. And I'm telling you, if you want, if you love Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua, which I know all of you watching out there, a lot of you enjoy it, don't dismiss this one because it's a cheapie that smells great and actually performs quite well as well. Now here's a great fragrance for the summertime. I love to wear this in summer nights. I think it's a very becoming scent. It's very mass appealing. It's gonna draw people in and it's extremely good for compliments. If you like compliments, this one will give you an unsolicited compliments and, and, and positive attention for sure. So at the fifth spot of fragrance that you probably haven't heard of, this is Von Cleef and Arpels in New York for man. This particular fragrance is like curve, you know, Claiborne curve for man meets Blow de Chanel. So if you like those two fragrances, you combine them, this is what you get here. So needless to say, it's gonna smell great. It's gonna give you compliments. It's a little musky in the dry down. It smells great. Put a nice little dent in this fragrance. I love, like I said, to wear this in summertime, in the evening times, if I'm going out, hanging out with, with my friends, always gives me you know positive attention. Now here's the, here's a caveat for this fragrance. It has been discontinued. At the time I'm shooting this video for you guys, you can actually still find this rally available. Again, I'm gonna have it linked below for a steal of a price, I think for less than 35 bucks. Get it while you can, because this is one of those that when it becomes discontinued, just like Fun Cleef and Pals Midnight in Paris, skyrocket in prices, guys. Fifth spot in New York for man from Von Cleef and Pals. Great stuff. If you like Blue Chanel, you want a little twist with Liz Claiborne's curve, this stuff here is great. In fact, let me just reiterate that for you guys. Where I found mine, it's actually available right now for 125 ml like this for under $25 a steal. If you're really on the budget and you can only afford one fragrance to rock this summertime, I would probably suggest and recommend you guys check this one out. This, this stuff here is also discontinued and very hard to find, but at the time I'm shooting this video, I've actually found a gift set that gives you a 100 ml bottle. This that I'm showing you right now is a 125 bottle for under 30 bucks, guys. So for under 30 bucks, a 100 ml gift set, I'm going to have it linked below. You can have this particular fragrance, Premium Blend from Penguin. This stuff here is incredible. It's very, very good for the summertime. It's refreshing. Look at the sprayer here. It's great. It smells fantastic. It's just grapefruits, citrus, gin. It's like a gin and tonic vibe, limes, lemons. It's like a gin and tonic drink. It lasts a long time on my skin and get this. It's a very, very good compliment type of a fragrance. If, you, if you're one of those people that really like to be noticed, you're going to get noticed very positively. And the dry down, it gives you like this white musk very sensual as well. So it's a gin and tonic, very citrus, very bright, and it dries down, still retaining the gin and tonic vibe with the citruses, bright, but gives you like this creamy, musky, sensual vibe in the dry down. Really good stuff. For about 30 bucks, you can get a gift set of this stuff right now. Still available at the time I'm shooting this. But again, it's one of those fragrances, frosty bottle, uh, rubber cap, you know, rubber cap, really good quality here. This is a hidden gem, guys. Like I said, if you can only afford one fragrance for the summer to smell great and to be your signature you know, scent for the whole summer, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. At the third spot is a fragrance that used to get quite a limelight here in this fragrance community here on YouTube. People used to talk about it, used to make top spring and summer lists, and now it's totally disappeared. I don't know why. This is going to be from the House of Cartier Roadster Sport. This is going to be a really nice minty, creamy minty fragrance with an herbal mid, so it's a little bit more mature than some of these but it smells incredible. There's also geranium here. There's the mint, so it's very fresh, very airy, very uplifting, almost sparkly and fizzy in the beginning. Then it gets a little creamy with some woods and some spicy components, but I absolutely love this stuff. And it actually lasts a long time. It doesn't project like crazy. It gives me a nice hour and a half, two hour push. 
but it really gives me a nice scent trail and scent siage, a nice scent bubble. Just a stellar summer fragrance. And the greater thing here is that you can get 100 ml of this stuff for under $35. This is quality, guys. You know Cartier puts nice quality out, and this one here is no different at the third spot. Now, if you're into aquatic fragrances and you love to wear aquatics in the summertime like myself, this is Citrus Aquatic with a nice fruity backdrop. This, this one here is going to be Olivier's Crasps masterpiece for the summertime and of course i'm talking about versace men au fraiche unbelievable stellar summer fragrance i got the big bottle it's almost time for a new one love the star fruit here the carambola fruit this is mouth watering good it's great for the summertime people love the way you smell in fact i have a lot of people in my family that wears this regularly because you know they live in tropical weather so they love to rock this throughout the whole year as their signature scent and they always smell great this one here is one of those fragrances that lasts a long time. It smells great and it's definitely going to give you positive attention. And the price is just unbeatable, guys. You're looking at a 50 ml of this stuff for under 35 bucks. Don't dismiss this one, guys. It's a classic, but it's definitely a great one. At the number one spot, this is definitely my favorite fragrance that I'm going to look to wear this whole summertime when it comes to a cheap, affordable, but great fragrance. And I have a full review on this fragrance as well as in the whole line of the Central Blends from Azaro, guys. You know how much I love this stuff. If you follow the channel, you know how much I've praised this line. Definitely check this one out. This is Azaro Pour Homme Ginger Lover. If you like ginger in your fragrances, this is definitely going to do it. The spicy ginger is throughout the fragrance. There's a little bit of a tonka in the base. So this is a blue scent, really, with a twist. Meaning you're going to get this spicy citruses up top with this nice, you know, in-your-face blast of ginger. And the blue nuance here, which is a little bit aquatic, but it's very aromatic at that. I definitely detect a little bit of a geranium here that makes it a little bit almost a minty vibe. But the dry down is going to be a little bit sweet with an ambroxan slash tonka. It is redundant when you look at the great scheme of fragrances in the market today. However, you cannot discount how great this stuff smells and how awesome it performs for under 35 bucks, guys. Pick up a bottle of this. You're not going to regret it. The whole line of essential blends are great. I'm going to have it up here so you guys can check out my first impression, the whole collection, and the review on this one if you guys want to check it out. Incredible fragrance for the price. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 affordable fragrances of summer 2020. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what fragrances are you guys normally wearing that is affordable, smells great, and actually gives you good performance. Please sound off in the comments. Perhaps I'll check some of yours out. And also, let me know your top three, top five, or top 10 fragrances that you love to wear that do not break the bank in the summertime. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Leave that like, click that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get videos like these straight into your feed. As always, remember, fragrance is emotion in motion, so wear which really moves you. I'll see you right back here real soon. Take care.